Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very different to my usual content. If you follow me on Twitter or listen to my live streams, you'll know that I've been very vocal with respect to this issue, but obviously my reach on YouTube is far greater than Twitter and you now, so I feel compelled to put this in a video in hopes of keeping the matter current. I do intend on making an in-depth video on this topic, but as I said, it's going to take me some time to gather the receipts and put them all together. I want to make one video and one video only and then continue on with my channel. However, something happened this morning that I want to make you all aware of. This is something that I don't believe can wait, so I apologize for the black screen, you guys. I know it's not aesthetically pleasing, but in this case, it's the message that's important. Now, for some brief background, in case you guys are new to this issue, John Cookian put out a slanderous and defamatory video calling my friend Peter Mon a pedophile, which there is absolutely no truth to whatsoever. The video is currently unlisted on John's second channel, More Cookian, and only accessible through a link he provided on his Twitter account. To my knowledge, the video is still active despite Peter and the public reporting the video to YouTube for harassment, tagging and tweeting at YouTube, dozens of videos made in support of Peter, a petition to get John off of YouTube currently sitting at around 10,000 signatures, and major influencers speaking out on the matter. I will go into detail about everything in my upcoming video, but as most of us know, John Cookian has a history of making serious career-ending child grooming allegations against people he falls out with. The first person on YouTube, that is, that faced these allegations was Sanders Kennedy. Then, last year, it was me and Thomas Halbert, and now it's Peter Mon. Speaking from experience, going through something like this is terrifying. I didn't know if I'd ever recover from these false allegations made against me. The hate I received daily from people calling me a child predator and a rapist was unbearable, and this was at a time when everyone loved John and I was very new to YouTube. I had very little support, and on top of everything, I couldn't even speak on the issue, one, because someone else was involved who was extorted for money by John, which is illegal, and two, because John immediately silenced me with a cease and desist, which was in fact valid. As I said, I'll get into this in detail in my upcoming video, but when I saw that this was happening all over again to my friend Peter, I was not going to sit back and let him go through what I did, and I will continue to use my platform to talk about the issue and try to get the message out, because this is not drama. This is someone trying to ruin lives, and he should not be allowed on YouTube. In fact, in my opinion, John should be charged with extortion and sued for defamation. Anyway, for those who follow the John saga, you'll likely be aware of a YouTube channel called The Josh Show. I personally hadn't heard of this channel until the creator, who I presume goes by the name of Josh, started making videos about John Cookian. Josh had two videos live on his channel with a third on the way. In fact, Josh reached out to me on December 24th to inquire whether I had any receipts on John that could be used in his video. On December 27th, I woke up to DM of screenshots taken from the Josh Show's Twitter account as seen here. He wrote, I've been fighting depression for nearly two years and being accused of being a pedo and linking names to mine that could put in danger my kid for your stupid revenge is enough. Goodbye everyone, I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore, love you. Followed by, you have no idea what you have done, but I forgive you because I'm done, I cannot do this anymore. I went to his Twitter account and clicked on the link to his YouTube channel and got this message that said his channel was closed and no longer available, which means that it was deleted. Now apparently, according to some commenters on Twitter, Josh had allegedly gone on Snapchat and said that John had contacted his employer and told them that Josh was a pedo, as in pedophile. The snaps were apparently deleted 10 minutes after they were posted. I did not see the snaps, so I cannot speak to whether they existed. In my live stream, I asked if anybody had seen the snaps, and nobody had. As far as I know, the snaps were the only evidence linking this matter to John Cookian, but because I haven't seen them myself, and because I haven't seen anything to support John's involvement, although John does have a history of calling people's employers, I can't say that John was involved in this instance. I'm not saying he wasn't, I'm saying there is nothing that I am aware of aside from hearsay to suggest that he was. If a snap is produced, that's a different story, but until then, as much as I despise John, I wouldn't attach him to this yet. It's worth noting that after reading Josh's alarming tweets, I did reach out to him as I, like many, were concerned for his well-being. I did not receive a response. Last night, being the 27th, I saw a series of tweets from one of Josh's friends who posted the following to Twitter. You guys, I got an email from someone saying they're Josh's counselor. Please come on you now, I'm fucking oh my god shaking. I need to talk to someone, please guys, Jacob isn't home and I am freaking out, it's about Josh. Someone claiming to be at the Josh vlog counselor contacted me 
saying Josh is dead. I am shaking, this cannot be real. I emailed back asking for proof of his identity. I hope this is a troll. I joined her stream and she was very upset and crying but said that she had been contacted via email by someone who claimed to be Josh's counselor saying that he was dead. She advised that she replied to the email but hadn't received a response in hours due to time zone differences. She also said that she googled the supposed counselor's name and apparently came up with nothing. At this point, people started questioning the legitimacy of the counselor and the entire story as there is a site, which I will link below if you want to check it out, with extensive receipts and allegations against the Josh show, including but not limited to going by various aliases, plagiarism, harassment, threatening, and scamming. I do not know whether these claims are true, as I said in the beginning, I know nothing of this man other than the fact that he made two videos about John. During her live stream, when questioned about her friendship with Josh and the last time she spoke with him, she advised that she received concerning and quote-unquote vague messages from Josh earlier in the day but wouldn't elaborate on the content. Subsequent to her stream ending, she posted the following to Twitter. I do feel dumb for immediately losing my shit, but when you receive concerning messages, then this, it's easy to fall for. I will not believe it entirely until I have an email email of confirmation of identity from the quote-unquote counselor. Later that night, she provided an update on the situation also via Twitter and said, They emailed me again. The source seems legitimate. They gave me some info that seems very specific. I won't say anything more until they call me. I want to be sure before we all freak out again. They now have my number. Also, tomorrow I'm going out of town to celebrate New Year's Eve, following our tradition for four years now. I won't be on here much, but you best believe as soon as I have confirmation of troll or not, I'll let you know. No, this is no joking matter. I reached out to her as well and haven't received a response, but I noticed that people were coming for her because she automatically believed what was said in the email. I mean, I think anyone would react the same way. She doesn't deserve to be ridiculed for saying whether the news is true or not. Look, you guys, I hope this is a troll and that Josh is safe. I know that a lot of you guys have messaged me concerned for his well-being, wondering if there is any truth to this, and I honestly don't know. All I will say is that if there is no concrete evidence to associate this issue with John, we should not be pointing fingers, especially in a situation as serious as this. I think there is a bigger issue here and this is not something that I will continue to follow. I know as human beings our natural reaction is to want to help and protect, but this situation is far greater than me. I hope you guys understand. Again, I hope this is all a hoax or a troll because the alternative is unfathomable. I will be continuing on with Peter in pursuit of justice with respect to John Cookian and I encourage you all to keep this going. Keep retweeting and reporting the video to YouTube. Keep the petition going because we never know whose hands it may end up in. We can't let the issue fizzle out because inevitably that's what's going to happen and he will get away with this once again and I refuse to let that happen. I'm afraid if John continues on making baseless accusations against people People. In an attempt to ruin their lives, the next person may not be as strong as Sanders, me, Thomas, or Peter, and I don't want to see that happen. Please continue to spread the word. Thank you guys so much for watching. My in-depth video on John is coming soon, and then it's back to regularly scheduled beauty drama. I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays, and I'll talk to you guys again soon in my next video. Bye!